channel i'm very excited for today's video it's gonna be like a lot of information so if starting a youtube channel is something that you have considered or thought about then this video is for you so not only am i going to talk about how to start a youtube channel but i'm also going to touch on just kind of creating a brand for yourself building your social media it's not like i'm some huge influencer or anything but i do think that there are a lot of people out there that don't even want to start or try to do any of these things because they don't know where to start maybe you're in your head about it. I do think that I've learned a lot from what I've done since I've started my YouTube channel and I have gotten a lot of questions, especially from people I know, asking me like, how did you start a YouTube channel? You're inspiring me to want to start one, but I don't know how. I don't know what I need. Let's just talk about it. So to start off about just a little bit about me and my channel and stuff, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Zoe. I'm 21. I just graduated college. I graduated from Appalachian State University in Boone, North Carolina. I'm starting a full-time job actually in less than a week and well by the time you're seeing this video I've probably already started which is crazy but I'm going to be a digital marketing manager for Blendjet, it's a portable blender company and I actually got that job through YouTube and my YouTube channel so I think that's pretty cool and I feel like I don't give myself enough credit for that because if I didn't put work into my YouTube channel and building a brand for myself I would not have gotten this job so I started my YouTube channel in June of 2020 I got monetized in April of 2021 I've now been monetized for a little over a year I do a lot of lifestyle content college related content although now that I've graduated college content probably will not be something that I do so I will have to adapt into to wherever my life takes me and incorporate that into my channel. I also do curly hair related content. I have very curly hair, but my main niche, I guess, would probably be just like lifestyle, daily vlogs. I do a lot of like cleaning and decorating videos too. I love them, especially when fall comes around. Don't even get me started. But yeah, that's a little bit about me and my channel. And again, I've just, I've gotten a lot of questions about how to create a brand for yourself and start a YouTube channel, which definitely not the most qualified person to talk about this, but it's also really cool that people notice the work that I've been putting in to all of this and it is actually getting me somewhere, which is cool and I feel like that speaks for itself maybe. Anyway, we're gonna dive into some tips on where do you even start? How do you do this? So my first tip, and this is a big one, to start something like this is just to stop overthinking it. So I've wanted to start a YouTube channel since like middle school, maybe high school when I first started watching YouTube videos. I never started because I was like, I don't have a camera, like I don't have any sort of equipment, a ring light, uh, editing software, my room isn't cute enough. I was waiting for everything to line up perfectly. I was also scared of what people would think. Then like quarantine hit and I was like, okay, like I'm grown if people have anything to say whatever I want to do this and I'm gonna stop thinking about it I'm gonna use my phone I'm gonna just start I actually my first video I filmed I used a camera but that was the only video I ever used that camera for because I realized my phone quality was a lot better but yeah I just decided one day that I was gonna stop thinking about it and just come up with an idea of what I wanted my first video to be and just film it you figure it out as you go it's like it's a whole learning process. I watched YouTube videos upon YouTube videos upon YouTube videos of how to use iMovie 
because I already had a MacBook for college. Because of that, iMovie came with it free. So I was like, oh, I'll just use iMovie. Don't know how to use it, but I'll just look up tutorials on different things. It can't be that hard. And it's really not. It's not that hard. I do have a video if you guys want to see it on how I edit my videos on iMovie. I now use Final Cut Pro, but if you're just getting started, definitely use iMovie. It's free, very easy to use, and you can do so much with it. But yeah, over time, you will gain more equipment, more software, and truthfully, when you're just starting out, nobody cares about that. No one cares that you're using your phone to film your videos. I did it for the first almost a year that I had my channel, and it did me well. Some of my most watched videos were filmed on my camera and edited on iMovie. Plus, you don't want to necessarily put a ton of money into getting everything perfect before you even start because who knows you might try it and realize you don't like it and then it's kind of like a waste of money and then you end up not wanting to do it anymore and it's like Start with what you have and then over time when you realize okay, like I'm getting the hang of this I'm realizing this is something I want to continue to do then you can start investing next tip is Find your niche and at first I Didn't think this was that important of a tip. I personally don't think it's the most Important one it is important though. Like I said my niche is like lifestyle and curly hair I think I kind of have two niches you can have more than one, but I'd have like a main one. Between the two, I'd say lifetime, lifetime. Lifestyle is like my main one. It's just the content that I produce more often. It can change as you go. Like I said, college related videos, even though they did fit into like the category of lifestyle, that was a huge part of my niche and a lot of my videos that have done well are college related. But now that I'm graduated, <laughs> I'm not gonna really be doing that anymore. And so kind of adapt as you you go you're gonna grow up and you're gonna change as well um, but like I said I don't think it's the most important one just because I have done videos that aren't part of my niche and they've still done well have a main one but just because you have one specific niche doesn't mean you can't explore content outside of that next tip is have patience this is probably one of the most important tips that I can give you I think so many people and I've seen it happen they start their channel and they expect to see all the numbers flow in. They expect, you know, to be making millions of dollars and hit your thousand subscribers and your 4,000 watch hours so you can get monetized and that's not going to happen. It's, it's not. Unless you already have built a brand for yourself on a different social media platform and you already have kind of made your way into social media and like this whole realm, if you're just like a normal person, <laughs> it's that's not going to happen. You have have to be patient. It takes time. If it's your first video ever, you probably don't have a ton of subscribers. You're not going to have a ton of views and it's going to take time before you get monetized. And even when you do get monetized, it's not that doesn't mean you're going to make thousands and thousands of dollars. Some people do, some people don't. You have to be okay with that. As long as you don't get caught up in the numbers, you'll be fine. If anything, you really shouldn't because this should be something that you want to do to make yourself happy and make others happy just have fun and be patient because you will see the numbers eventually but that's only if you stay consistent and that is my next tip and that's I think the overarching tip that you will ever hear it goes hand in hand with being patient come up with a schedule for yourself so when I first started because it was quarantine and then it was summer I had all the time in the world so I was putting out two videos a week and I had chosen two days and it was the same two days every week when I first started and I kept that up until the school year started and even then I still was able to stay consistent not with two videos a week but I moved down to one a week but I still I was doing the same day every week and I stayed consistent with it. Obviously, if you need some time off, great, take it. Almost the whole time I've had my YouTube channel, I've been in school. Obviously, there are weeks where I can't get a video up because I have homework or I would rather go to a football game than edit a video. Like, life happens. Still live your life outside of this, but at the same time, if it's something that you're passionate about and you really want to grow and be good at and you want to see results, you do have to, at the same time, be disciplined. If and when you do take 
take a week or two off that's fine but just come back stronger and better than ever um i do have two monetization videos on youtube but i talked a little bit about all of this as well just how i was able to unfortunately see the way that my channel kind of decreased analytically when i got less consistent which is unfortunate but it's also like my own fault a lot of people ask me to how i stay motivated i just try to remind myself what i want out of this and why i started i also watch youtubers that initially sparked my interest in youtube in the first place ones that make me want to create more content i would say that those are the main things that keep me motivated and keep me wanting to do it also the comments are really encouraging even if it's something simple like love this video from a stranger it just it really warms my heart i've also gotten comments that are like especially with curly hair videos where people are like oh my gosh i needed this video like i didn't know what i was doing or oh my gosh someone with my kind of hair finally and it's like i just think that's so important the fact that i'm like helping people it's kind of crazy. It's really crazy actually and I never thought that I could like be that for other people And I think it's really cool and it makes me want to keep going Another huge piece of advice would just be to have fun and don't take yourself too seriously You want to be proud of yourself and your content and if you're constantly over analyzing things Whether it's analytics or how you're coming off in a video or how you edited a certain part of a video If you're trying too hard, it's not as fun. So I know it's cheesy but just like be yourself and it's just more fun that way and when you have fun people notice and they enjoy your content a lot more so now I'm going to talk a little bit more about just creating a brand for yourself overall my first tip for that is again find a niche already talked about that but it goes hand in hand with YouTube Instagram whatever it is you're trying to create a brand for yourself or if it's just even a business you need to know your audience in order to to figure out the content that you're gonna put out. Next tip is put time and effort into branding yourself in the little ways. So earlier I said, don't think too much about the equipment and the software and whatever it is, but put time into the little things like having an obvious and good quality profile picture for your YouTube or your Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok. Have a good profile picture so people actually know who you are. Also have a nice, simple banner that showcases your personality. I know YouTube has a banner. I believe Twitter has one. I think LinkedIn has one as well. And you can create your own banner literally anywhere. I like to use Canva. Super simple, very easy. I've been doing this for I guess two years now and I have never paid for Canva. I use the free version. I also created a little logo for myself. You see it at the bottom right of the video. It's like I did my initials and I just, I literally just created that on like Canva or something. And obviously you can go into YouTube and that's where you put all that stuff in. I don't, I did a long time ago, but put effort into the little things like that so people take you a little bit more seriously. Also have your bio be simple, straight to the point, just so that people know what to expect with you. Like who is this person? What is the content they put out? Would I like it? So those are like the little tips for creating a brand for yourself. If you are trying to have brand deals and stuff like that, put yourself out there. I've literally just looked up email templates and Instagram templates on how to like reach out to a brand. It's as simple as that. It can also vary depending on the niche and the brand and what it is you're trying to work with them for. But also over time, brands will come to you too. The first brand that I ever worked with was Nova Shine. I still use their teeth whitening kit. They were the first brand deal I ever did and they reached out to me. I had just started on YouTube, I was still using my phone. I didn't have a fancy camera. I was using iMovie, which was free. They still wanted to work with me. It just goes to show even more that like you don't have to have all the fancy stuff in order to get far. I will also say charge for your content. Even if you are a small YouTuber, I'm, I'm a small YouTuber and I still charge for content. I wouldn't say not to do gifted content at all because that's nice. Gifted is when a company, their 
payment is the free product and then you do whatever they ask post an instagram picture or talk about it in your youtube video whatever whatever it is that they're asking for it's okay if it's gifted and they're not paying you but it kind of i don't know it kind of depends on the company but i would say for the most part charge for your content because you might think like oh i'm just this small little like i'm not that experienced i don't, I don't need payment i probably don't deserve payment for this yes you do they reached out to you for a reason you can promote their product you're gonna put your time and your effort into it you should charge for it in terms of how much to charge i still am bad at that it's a very uncomfortable thing to like ask for money but the very fact that a brand is reaching out to you just proves that your work is worth something but yeah this is something i still struggle with because i haven't done a brand deal in ages and two i do think that i'm continuously selling myself short and scared of being rejected or something so when it comes to like the nitty-gritty of that don't ask me still working on it next tip for creating a brand for yourself keep up with your socials i feel like that's a given but i also feel like a lot of people will post one picture every couple months and like expect something from that or post one video every now and then what which kind of leads me into the next tip kind of goes hand in hand but it's to cross promote i mainly use instagram and youtube instagram is like my main social media app not including youtube but i use instagram and youtube interchangeably to promote each other so i make sure to keep updated on both when i first started my channel i did post the links to my videos in like my snapchat story too i post them on facebook as well which i always forget to do i always forget to promote my youtube videos on facebook but facebook is huge because that's where all the adults are all the like family friends who just want to like look at your content and see what you're up to so they will likely watch it which is so nice it's just so sweet but yeah don't forget about the apps that you don't use my next tip this is the second to last one don't worry um is to use your support group friends and family that want you to succeed will help you succeed so you're not using them in a malicious way but you know maybe ask your friends like hey can you maybe post about my youtube channel somewhere or just tell your friends about it or you know that kind of thing if they want you to succeed they'll help you i owe a lot of my growth to friends who have posted about my channel or reposted my content or even just liked a video or subscribed or commented or shared it like any of that is support and i also owe a lot of my growth to my mommy she posts the links to all my youtube videos on facebook and it's just so nice and even if you don't have that in real life once you get going with youtube or your instagram or whatever your followers or subscribers become your support group as well i think my last tip would be to just believe in yourself that is probably the cheesiest saying in all of the land but if you don't believe that you can get somewhere with youtube or instagram or whatever the brand it is that you're trying to create for yourself then you won't if you believe in yourself then you'll actually put the work into it that is necessary and you'll reap the benefits of it for example i might not think that my youtube channel is all that i am proud of it and i think i'm good at it and i want to continue to do it and I believe that it will go further but like I've said a million times I don't have thousands of subscribers and you know I don't make millions from this this is not like a job for me if it was I would be homeless but I got my full-time job that I'm about to start because of my YouTube channel and the authentic work that I've put into it. So believe in yourself and you will go far. And I think that's my last tip. I do have other videos on my channel about the more detailed things like how to edit on iMovie, monetization, and I don't remember what else I have, but I'll create a playlist all about YouTube if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you learned something and i hope you got inspired to start a youtube channel or do something i don't know but yeah thank you guys for supporting me and helping me build something for myself that i will cherish forever guys come on enough I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like it subscribe do all the things comment watch my ads <laughs> Share this video with your friends. Share my other videos with your friends. But that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm, cross promote. Mm. How do I word this?